here I am going into Mexico and you can here's where you go in and pay the toll Okay. Now that is something totally new. I have never ever been stopped going into Mexico. Um, they, uh, I'm carrying a camera bag and they put it through an x-ray machine here and that's the first time ever I've been stopped and I've been uh, coming uh, to Mexico for like 30 years now so hey, something new uh, I have to, I have a feeling it has something to do with uh, the tariffs of uh, that were in place. I mean, we came to a negotiation on the uh, free trade uh, agreement with uh, Mexico, but I think this is in. They have a new president in uh, Mexico now, and I think it's a little bit of uh, they want to uh, hassle the people a little. But that's okay. I mean, to get into the United States is a big hassle for uh, a Mexican citizen, even if they have the uh, paperwork. So, uh, we'll, we'll live with it, and I'm sure it's just uh, temporary. Now this is uh, Wednesday, September 19th, and uh, I think that the people are going to be very happy because it's the start of the season when the winter Texans start coming down to, uh, to uh, uh, come down, spend money on the tourism including medical tourism because of the dentist here and uh, to eat and drink you know uh, it's very nice and this is uh, what they do pretty soon it'd be very crowded here That's where I'm going down there where the orange sign with the black lettering is. The Galerias. I'm going to stop in there and uh, maybe pick up some uh, uh, peanuts or whatever. I can see that they've been doing some work. Uh, hopefully the economy is picking up the peso really took a hit and uh, it was up to about 
19 pesos to a dollar. Now, years ago they revalued the pesos and it was three to one. So over time it's up to 19 to one now. and found department if anyone recognizes any of these uh, as theirs please claim them here okay I just got a uh, a soul beer and it was, uh, let's see, it was uh, $2 for the beer. Sometimes they have a special here of a dollar for uh, Heineken. And uh, they have uh, specials once in a while. You can get micheladas here, uh, frozen margaritas, all the types of beer that you want. Now two dollars for a beer sold is selling for in the United States about twenty-seven dollars a, a case. So that comes out to a little over two dollars. I got a two dollar beer at a bar here. And like I said, sometimes they have Heineken and the Heinekens are a dollar. So this is a bargain. You can just imagine how much they're paying for uh, beer here. What kills the United States is the taxes on beer. Okay, I'm just leaving the uh, Red Panty Bar. Very good. <laughs> Take a little walk here. I'm going to skip lunch today because I had a late breakfast. So that's it for today. I'm gonna go back. I have to uh, get a card from my. No, thank you. Uh, I have to get a a card. <laughs> as soon as as soon as people see a GoPro camera, a lot of them love uh, to be on YouTube. They one of my most popular uh, uh, videos is of uh, coming here to Progresso. I get a lot of views from uh, from Mexico. They uh, they like uh, my videos, and I, I like coming here. These people are very hardworking, and uh, they're trying to make a living. A lot of it's on uh, tourism, so we uh, we do okay. Alright. 
You always see people out here giving shoe shines and they'll wash your car while you go in shopping. So it's very different than the United States. And they have outdoor bars. And as you can see, they have a lot of places for, uh, for, uh, for little knickknacks you can buy, hats. Uh, they have a lot of pharmacies here and a lot of dental. Yep, what kind uh, of we got medical, we got mm -hmm. dentists, we got medication, we got dentists, mm -hmm. lab, general doctor, representing Ruby. All right. Yes, in town. She has nice prices, very clean office. Come here to Progresso. We're here to help you. Well, how can I help you? Anything, something to eat, something to drink. I'm here. My name is Jay Moreno. Okay, very good. Uh, I do YouTube. I, I, I already did one. I did uh, YouTube for, for here. And oh, I got a lot of people that that, wa that watch. Yeah, I tell want them, them to got, come. Tell them they got people that are deported from America that speak English that are there to help you in things that you want. We are sure here to help them with whatever they need. We do this voluntarily. We are volunteers here. You know, we do self employed. We're self employed. -employed. This is what I tell people. Everyone's, we take care of you. Everyone's trying to earn a living here. They wash cars, shoe shine, help dentists. Help each other, help, help we, everybody each other. We help you with medical. We That's help right. We help you with We help you with lavatory. Everything, anything you want. Top, In Progressive Mexico. I always say my name's Ray. The, the, the people here in Mexico are not our enemy. They're our friends. Yeah, okay. We are not your enemy like other the, like Donald Trump. We are <laughs> we are way cheaper than insurance doctors. We we're not gonna pay taxes. <laughs> yep, not gonna pay taxes. Very uh, trained doctors. Yes, okay. Our co-worker right here. Yeah. Yeah. Represented yeah, cheaper than know. Walmart, Walgreens. We're and not all. hating. Uh, and we do this so Ronald Trump hates on us. We love you all. Peace out. We don't care where you come from. The world. Yep. That's right. You. Thank you very much, guys. Thank, thank you. So anyway, Nuevo Progreso. The people here, very nice. Uh, you know, you have to remember that there's uh, not too many uh, people uh, that are on social programs. You have to uh, make it on your own here. So this is why, you know, I come over here, I spend some money, I uh, come here to eat, the food is very good. I have never gotten sick from eating the food in uh, Mexico, never. And uh, it's relatively inexpensive. You come here and uh, believe me, they want they want the tourism here so everyone should uh, come on down don't be afraid this is one of the safest cities along the border too so that's why I come here it's uh, not like uh, Matamoros where it's a larger city I'm gonna go there one day and show you uh, but it's uh, it's all good here There's the bridge, and I'll be going over. So, so time to go back. Like I said, I have to. Uh, Go buy uh, a card for my wife for our anniversary. Uh, tomorrow is September 20, 20th and we'll be married for 12 years. So anyway, let me uh, put this away. Okay. Uh, I have to pay the, uh, the uh, fee. It's 25 cents. Now it's 50 cents coming. 25 cents going back 
and let's see, I have a quarter, and put it in, and that's it. We cross the bridge. Now it's I think it's 28 pesos. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. And uh, it's a nice day, not too hot. Now, when the winter Texans come, this bridge will back up uh, almost all the way to the other side here. So it's not too bad. And later on in the day, it gets a little bit more traffic. People actually do commute uh, from Mexico to the United States and vice versa uh, uh, to, uh, to their businesses. Now, there are people from Mexico uh, that uh, opened up businesses over on the US side and don't forget a lot of people come over for the day they do their shopping in the United States the economy of Texas uh, relies on the uh, people the tourism and also for people to come over and purchase that's what keeps our economy going now, I can tell that there's more and more uh, people from up north. They're coming down, and the weather must be cooling off up north. Next month is really the month, October, is the month that they really start uh, coming. And so it's not bad today. And this is new. They have looks like Border Patrol is over here. And uh, we I don't know. This is this is all new. So And you can see that no traffic today. Huh. This is unusual. Usually the traffic is backed up uh, over the bridge. Towards this time of day, it, it's usually backed up. So uh, that's it for now. And uh, I'll put this on YouTube and uh, have a good day. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.